What's up everybody, it's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Disneyland's new Max Pass, which is like a fast pass experience where you have an app on your phone and you pay $10 each and you get access to booking fast passes in advance. Um, just launched literally this week. Um, is it, it launched on... Um, July the 19th, so just a few days ago as the time of the recording to this. It's also all linked up with the my um the my experience and stuff. But what's you been sort of the, what's what have you been hearing about this app and sort of people's response to it? Um, well, the only negative experience I've really heard is from the pass holders, <laughs> obviously, because they've been having issues linking it to their um, passes, which is totally understandable. Um just as a reminder for those visiting Disneyland, though, you do not have to do this. There is still the option where you can go to the attraction and get your fast pass. This is just so that way you can get your you get photo unlimited photo pass downloads, and you can get your fast passes just straight from the app. It's just an easy, more convenient way to do it. Yeah, it does seem likely that this thing about because um, I was we were looking at some tickets for some friends the other day, and uh, they're throwing in like the, the the photo passes for Disney World is that thing of. You know, I think Disney realized that people aren't going to pay 15, 10 bucks for these photos anymore. You know, they don't, that's, that, those days are long gone. But the social media and the images of these things are, make, are better for promoting. Yes, absolutely. So I think this was a good move for Disneyland because they, I believe they tested the way my Disney experience worked at Disney World. Tried it at Disneyland for a while and it just quite didn't work. But I feel like this will be more beneficial for them. Yeah. Personally, um, I find the ten pound dollar or ten dollars a day is going to be a little bit steep if you've got a family. You know, if there's you know, four, five, six, ten of you going, that's suddenly going to boost up your cost per. You know, that's you know forty, fifty, a hundred dollars gone instantly. Um, time wise, you know, um, I know we would we we had planned to go this year. Unfortunately, we're not going to be going. Um, but I was actually going to be trying this out because if I only had a day in each theme park, it might have cost me another 40 bucks. But the idea was that we were going to be able to, you know, the idea of just trying to get more of the big attractions, the big ones out the way. So we spent less time queuing. And if you've only got a limited amount of time, this does does make it a lot easier. Um, the So from the day trippers, um, I actually think if you're going there and you, you know if you were at D23 last weekend and you, you're only there for one day, I'd probably say it's time versus money. You know, if you've only got this one go, this one shot, I'd say just do it and you'll be all right and it'll be good. If you if you can go regularly or you've been before and you've been on the rides, you might not necessarily think it's necessarily worth it. See, my thing was I I at first before this officially came out, I thought they were gonna do the fast pass the way how they would do park tickets so like for every day you usually you get a certain amount off so you get a value mm. um like you said i would feel like it's only beneficial if you're like a pass holder who comes like every few days or so and doesn't mind spending money mm. um yeah because you can you can add on the maxi pass onto um your annual pass holder for six seventy five dollars a year if you're a signature plus pass holder you will receive a no extra cost um so that's a good good thing um now this again is this time kind of thing of seventy five bucks for a year's pass suddenly changes it again. It's time versus money. Um, mm -hmm. If you but then is that thing of well if that queue is really good or really high, and if you don't see it today, well you live nearby. It's like you know you know now now what Disney World. If you don't get to go on Pandora today when you go in there, you can go next week. You know, but if I go. I have got this one shot. It might be my only shot in a lifetime, or the only one in ten, fifteen years. It's a lot harder to, you know, you do want to. There's that difference. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, I did have plans to go to Disneyland later this year, but it's uncertain. Mm. I personally, I don't know if I would spend the money. Yeah. Especially when I could just use my own camera still. Yeah, well, I mean, this is more about I think the fast pass kind of system. Of uh, you do get um. The you get um you get basically be able to book your fast passes in the same way. So I think that's where the, the the key point of it comes in. No, absolutely. I feel honestly, I think it would be beneficial for families with disabled family members. That would actually be very useful for them. I think. Well, I suppose it depends if they because the trouble is they've been clamping down on the passes to be able to get in and stuff early. I think you know it's like we were having a discussion with some friends, you know, like with kids and stuff of. And even my sister-in-law, you know, he just hates, you know, my future brother-in-law has purchased 
the express passes for Universal when they go to Disney World for the honeymoon, uh, for Universal, sorry. And, you know, it's literally long for him. It's like, you know, I'd rather pay this so she's not moaning at me for the whole week and we can enjoy it. And there is that line and it's, it's that sort of thing between, you know, paying extra and then you're jumping the queue and all the rest of it, but they're creeping, you know, the, the top line off. But then if you can't afford it, it's not so good and it's your time. It's a, it's a very, I don't, I don't like the, the idea of having to pay. I like the Disney World system where everyone gets to go with it and everyone gets a free shot at trying to do it. And you, if you're smart enough, that's up to you of how you play it. But the idea of just paying to go up, I mean, Disneyland's one is not too expensive, but I wouldn't be surprised me if this went up. Oh, no. I know probably by, at least by next year, it'll go up for sure. This is a brand new thing. They, it's like, I will use the Banshees as an example. Once they realized it was really trendy, they raised them from $40 to almost 60 or 75 So if this continues on a good speed, it'll go up in price. Yeah. I mean, looking here, um, looking at some of the comments from the from the official Disney Park below, um, you know, it's like say, how does it work for people that don't have cell phones? We don't have phones. You know, you know, how much more expensive it is? It the benefit? You know, is it is it worth the three hundred dollars a year for some families? You know, in terms of booking, you know, if you got four passes, that's you know, yeah, three hundred dollars. You got a bit more of that. You know, it's like someone says, it. You know, if they're there for a family of four using a five day hopper, it would add two hundred dollars to an already expensive vacation. Um, whereas ticket based system worked perfectly fine for them. Um, definitely odd. It's and like here, another example. Of what I always say, you know, how for the how will this work for people without roaming? For example, visiting from Canada or overseas, you know, you need the Wi-Fi to be able to get access to it. Um, you know, but then someone says it was ten dollars introductory price. If it's there in December, I hope it's still ten dollars. Um, it's it's an odd one. Um, it, it's yeah, I think it's. It's it's a really tricky situation. I, I, if I was going this year, I would probably do it. But again, I would have the problem of I don't have roaming, um, or if I do, I don't have as much roaming. So it's not as easy use not using these your devices. It's getting you know we're having this discussion as well of like you know you almost you're at a disadvantage if you aren't doing that. Yeah, it really is. Which kind of, which goes back to you know the fairness of the system. I mean, mm -hmm. granted, they did say you still get the option to you know go to the attraction and do it the normal way, but at the same time, it's I mean, it's really not fair. Whereas at Disney, everyone gets a free shot, mm -hmm. so it's like, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, it's I, a, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a. Yeah. I mean, that whole it's, thing of you know. People doing their research and people not doing their research. You know, you take two families of four. One that the one couple, one couple has done so much research. They know how to do it, how the whole system works. They know what to do, you know, and they know where to go and they know all the plans. Versus rookie um, family that have never been before. You know, the end of that week, you know, the end of the vacation, you know that the, the couple that have done all the research will have. Um, seen a lot more they would have done or would they have had as much fun you don't know the other couple the other family might have just winged it and enjoyed it all but they might have come home and go well we didn't do this and we didn't do that we didn't do this we ran out of time the queue was too big we didn't do this and everyone's like we did this the idea that you're adding in pound signs where fat you know you could have two different rookie families and one's paid the 40 50 bucks to get the pass and they're enjoying more and it again comes down to money and it's 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 an odd one i'm not i'm yeah, it's that thing. I'm glad it's not in Disney World because ten dollars a day suddenly turns into for a British family, it could turn into a hundred and forty dollars per person. So you're looking at nearly a family of four, a family of five would be nearly a grand more. Yeah, I, I personally, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of this idea at all. To be quite honest, I would, I, I'm cheap, so I would rather just take the walk. <laughs> yeah, get my fast pass. Yeah, I mean, there's that thing of, um, I know, like, last time we went uh, to Disney World, and having them all on your Magic Band and doing it all for the, because they would do it on the Wi-Fi in the morning and, you know, set it all up for the day that we'd done. Uh, but at the same time, having the Fast Pass paper one, you know, trying to run when you're going to Paris from one thing to get to Ratatouille to get your, your, your pass is pretty dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've experienced that. So, I, I can for that. <laughs> yeah, so in some ways, the, the digital version does have an advantage, but it's, it's just an 
an odd one. I'm just here looking at the price of what universal, I can't remember what universal one what there was. I think it's a lot more than ten dollars a day. Oh, it's definitely a lot more. I believe it's um like around fifty. I believe. Yeah. Um. We're just looking here now. Um. It's certainly going to be an interesting situation of how they do it. Um, yeah, I can't see it off the top, off the top there. But generally, you know, it it is difficult. We'd love to know what you guys think. Are you, is it something you're willing to pay for? Is it something you're not willing to pay for? Is this that thing that just sets up that little bit again? You know, too much, or is it just literally? Oh, we're going to Disney. We're going to sod the expense. Um, you know, let us know what you guys think. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out DizKingdom.com. Hit that subscribe button if you are on YouTube. You can also um, subscribe to the audio platforms there. And feel free to leave us a review as there. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Bye.